The Department of Primary Industries and Regional Development, through its Sheep Industry Business Innovation Project, or SIBI, have been supporting local farmers in implementing new technologies in the industry. Here are just a few of those stories. Everyone that's getting out of sheep saying, oh, it's too bloody hard. It's, it's not hard. Sheep works not hard if you've got good facilities. And it doesn't have to be expensive to be good. Yeah, my name's Chris Patmore. Um, my wife Robin and I run a farm here at Eni Abbo. About six years ago, I, I invested in a remote monitoring outfit with 15 cameras. It, it allows me to, to do other things around the farm that probably wouldn't be getting done while I'm wasting time driving around checking troughs. So um, my farm improvement program is, is taking a step up, fencing and laneways and that sort of stuff. It, it allows me to, to leave the sheep uh, without um, physically checking them and I can just check them on the phone. This remote monitoring setup is well and truly worth it. Chris has managed to save over $23,000 a year. Yeah, peace of mind while you're away yeah, and, and better time management when you're home. I just think the more data I can collect, then the better informed decisions I can make and, and help with the genetic gain of my sheep flock. I'm Wayne Peck. We farm 13,500 hectares. We've now done three years of tagging sheep with uh, their own EID tag. What it's giving me is a lot more information. So now I, I put all of that data together and I'm using that as well as uh, visually selecting our best sheep and get rid of the, the non-performers. Uh, either into a into a lower base flock or or sell them all together. Our breeding objective: we've got to collect as much data on so many different traits. It's what we need to do to keep going in the direction we want to go. Uh, yeah, I'm Hamish Thompson. Um, run a mixed farming enterprise. Yeah, breeding seed stock rams for commercial growers in throughout Australia and and overseas. We're big, highly focused on on data. Um, with our Breeding, breeding enterprise um, using ASBVs and what we're doing today is a bit of fleece weighing. Um, we started that in, in 2008 <coughs> and it's become a, a, a pivotal role in, in selecting our, our breeding stock going forward, making sure we're using the right genetics to increase our wool cut, our wool cut um, but also being mindful not to lose sight of any of the other traits that we're looking at as well. We want to know what what each individual animal is doing and is capable of and then what their progeny is capable of and that's the idea of breeding values. So the more information we gather um, over our whole ewe flock is the more accurate it becomes and then the more accurate it becomes for their progeny going forward as well. So it makes life a lot simpler. We've done a lot of weighing with a, with a texter and a, and a biro and that's really stressful. Um, particularly if the shear is going flat out, but with the, the barcode scanner we can keep up. No worries at all. Tell me, people say, when are you going to get there? I don't know, we'll probably never never get there, but all we can do is just keep improving one thing at a time and see where it takes us, I suppose. Worm resistance in general throughout the the state is becoming a problem and we've got to use all the tools at our disposal to, to combat. My name's Scott Newby, I'm on a family property at Broom Hill. We've been here for a long time, over a century. We're putting in 2,000 hectares of crop and running about 3,000 sheep and we're looking to incorporate more sheep technologies in our farm. Normally we drench yep. with um, ordinary drench gun based on approximate heaviest animal weight um, but generally there's always a few outliers, there's a few fatties in there that are well overweight um, so they're getting under drenched and obviously the smaller sheep in that practice are getting well over drenched um, so there's, there's wastage of product as well as potential for um, resistance occurring in those larger animals who aren't getting an adequate dose rate so this product solves both of those problems. 
We're trialling the AutoMed gun using it with the sheep panda that we've got to drench sheep based on their body weights. Um, using premium um, drench products there's potential for real savings in drenching based on body weight and reduce problems with worm resistance with drenching at the correct weights. Yeah, it's, it's got real promise for some, some good financial return and some good animal health benefits as well. Going forward, this technology is it's just the way of the future. It's where we're going. Increase productivity, increase profits. And so all of this technology is heading towards that. We run 46,000 sheep at peak. We've been doing TSUs for two years now. The actual operation is very easy. It's just a simple punch in the ear, which makes it a, such a time saver. Previous to this, we used blood cards where we were finding 30% were coming back with human contamination. By using the TSU method, it improves accuracy, it's a time saver, and eliminates any risk of human contamination. We have set breeding objectives of a dual purpose plus VEC sheep. We want an easy care, high performing sheep. This emphasises wool, meat and faecal worm egg counts. Now that we've been collecting DNA, we get a full pedigree. So it means that we've been able to decrease our nucleus flock from 900 to 500 in five years. People have this general opinion that running sheep is hard but it doesn't have to be. And by using this new, these new sheep handlers technology, the DNA can make it so much simpler and easier. And you wanna to come to work the next day. It's really just trying to identify our, our best performing ewes and, and breed from them, essentially. So I farm 30 k's east of Wajin with my wife Polly and three young boys. We're farming 4,900 hectares, um, basically a 70-30 mix cropping sheep farm. Last year we did a trial, trialling some proximity sensors with the Ag Department and uh, just really looking at our twin mobs, which ewes were raising two lambs and which, uh, which were only raising one. If a ewe lamb is born out of a ewe that, you know, that has raised two and, and has raised two heavy lambs, well, we're hoping that that ewe lamb will be likely to perform like that in the future. So these are the two proximity sensors there, obviously one, one for the ewe and uh, one for the lamb. As with any technology, as it gets uh, more user friendly and, and more cost effective, it's something that we, uh, we would look at using. There's two benefits that we focused on, generational benefit and the genetic benefit. The genetic benefit is about trying to push the top of the flock higher and the generational benefit is about how do we remove that bottom end and take them out of the flock. This technology is all new. As costs come down over time, then the economics are going to change significantly. Guys are probably looking at their sheep enterprise and looking at how they can, can start boosting pro productivity and, um, and using technology to do that. Yeah, no, I think the outlook for, for the WA sheep industry is very positive. The Department of Primary Industries and Regional Development, through its Sheep Industry Business Innovation Project, made possible by Royalties for Regions, is supporting and sharing new technologies in the sheep industry. This is improving labour efficiency in the sector and making it easier all round to run sheep.